Hey, classmates. Um, so um, to, today we reviewed information about um, open access and social work databases and finding just research articles that apply to my practicum and cite it to APA guidelines, right? And so I found an article specifically on psychiatric rehabilitation um, and the importance of evidence-based practice and like how things changed over time. And so like how it mentioned how like things were treated in the past, especially with severe mental illnesses like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and things that really affected individual lives and how over time medications were introduced and now psychiatric rehabilitation as a way to kind of help people behaviorally adjust into their society and challenge mental health and like doing a lot of CBT methods um, and DBT methods and stuff. So it talks a lot about that. Um, and that applies to my practicum because I'm doing a residency in psychiatric rehabilitation. And so I felt like it was just really applicable um, for the material um, that I found. When we're talking about open source database, it's like a way to just keep, like obviously make sure your stuff, you're researching stuff from the correct place, which I think is why we were directed to Simmons University stuff and their resources. Um, but one of the things that I find most helpful with evidence-based practice is it keeps you kind of current and keeps your knowledge current of the area that you're treating, especially when it comes to mental health or other kind of um, challenges in regards to mental health arena and how we can ac accurately challenge those and help people move through and retrain their brain and how to assess process information and react to that information as it comes in um and so that's kind of um why i think that it's important um if we didn't use any evidence-based practices and if we didn't challenge what we already knew back then we'd still be doing terrible treatments like um like electroshock therapy um um, and therapy that, um, and like locking people up in asylums therapy that was generally harmful for people. And so, um, and so that's kind of why I think that it's important to maintain current on our knowledge. And my article specifically kind of goes into what psychiatric rehabilitation should look like and how it's really important to kind of utilize peer, um, peer services, like, uh, peer support services and also rehabilitation services to kind of move through those challenges and not just kind of give people a pill and hope that fixes everything because it just doesn't we know that um especially with challenging the medical model which is a more recently used uh, method not too many too long ago and this really is important to me because i remember um when i was working at a religious um therapy um area um i wasn't obviously doing therapy i was just a clerk there and doing secretary work um, but that was kind of like my introduction to the field. And a lot of, um, there were some older therapists who didn't think EMDR was real. They thought it was junk science. They didn't think it actually helped anybody. And it's really important to use evidence-based practice to teach people new methods. Um, just because you did it the old way, it doesn't mean that the new way isn't valid. And it doesn't mean it's not going to help people more than just CBT, generic CBT. Um, and especially because CBT doesn't necessarily always focus on um, diagnosing trauma and like assessing that trauma. And so, yeah, that kind of sums up why I picked the article that I did um, and how it specifically promotes using evidence-based practice in psychiatric rehabilitation. And I'll go ahead and link it in my comments on this video so that way I cite it appropriately. Um, but yeah, that just pretty much sums up my thoughts on that. And um, so thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.